Police turn up at the home of shaken California podcaster for threatening AOC after he posted a tweet criticizing her comments on Palestine and Israel, but she insisted it wasn't her who called it in. Ryan Wentz tweeted on April 7th that AOC's remarks on Palestine and Israel were incredibly underwhelming. She was being interviewed by Michael Miller, the head of the Jewish Community Relations Council of New York. A day after posting the tweet, two California Highway Patrol officers visited him at home in LA. He says they accused him of threatening to kill the New York Congresswoman. They said the threat was reported to Capitol Police in DC and they forwarded it to him. Wentz does not post his name or any other personal information online. AOC says it was not her office who reported him and that someone else must have. Hi, welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm your host Dum Dum. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leaving your comments below. So let's watch the video in question here. What actions do you think can be taken to support movements towards peace, uh, both between Israelis and Palestinians, as well as within the entire region, such as uh, the Abraham Accords. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, earlier just now, you and I were, were, were talking about the what and the how. Yes. And I think that when we talk about establishing peace, um, centering people's humanities, protecting people's rights, it's, it's not just about the what and the, the end goal, which often gets a lot of focus, um, but I actually think it's much more about the how and the way that we are coming together and how we are, how we interpret that what and how we act uh, in, you know, the actions that we take to get to that what. And so what this really is about is that it's a question more than anything else about process. And so we really need to make sure that um, that we are valuing a process where all parties are respected and have, you know, a lot of equal um, opportunity to really make sure that we are negotiating good faith, etc. That being said, you know, I think that there's there's just this one central issue of um, of settlements because if we if the what if the what that has been decided on is to stay, then the action of settlements is in it, it's not the how to get to that what. And so, you know, I think that that's a central thing that we need to make sure that um, we center and that we value um, Jewish and and rather we value Israeli, um, uh, uh, we value the, the, the safety and, and the human rights of Israelis. We value the safety and the human rights of Palestinians in that process that is similar and that uh, on, on um, equal footing. And so all of that is extremely important in that process. Um, and wow, after watching that video, that is hilarious. That is one of those standardized answers that you give when you really have no clue what the topic is or you don't have a position. And you could see at the end, as she tries to tie in the topic at hand and the question that was really asked of her, she can't even do it. She can't even get the names right on this. On the screen, you see a letter from AOC's campaign management that tells people to report others when they think that any information is misleading to them, which to me means if they're hating on AOC, report the people. Well, other people thought that her answer was pretty bad. Let's read some of the tweets. From George Pill, it says, gosh, I don't think I've seen AOC so inarticulate before. I'd be interested to see if she comes back at a later date to clarify and make clear her position on Israel and Palestine. Disappointed. The next tweet says, why are cops visiting at Queer Lamode's home over tweet criticizing AOC's political views on Palestine. Does she know the police are doing this on her behalf? Another tweet says, hey there AOC, 
I'm Palestinian American who would love to talk to you about Palestine. So the next time you ask a question like this, you can identify with clarity the what's in the house of Israel's occupation. Serious offer. The next one says she's totally inept to say the least. She has no idea what is going on between Israel and Palestine. Ignorant AOC. Well, guys, in my opinion, she's done this before. She doesn't get herself educated enough on the subjects. Why she's there in office, I have no idea. What are your comments? Leave them down below. For the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum.